today you're going to learn how to improve the speed of your Windows 11. So these are very simple steps so don't worry and otherwise you can check the timestamps I've put down and check down in the comments if you don't know what to do. For the rest I'm gonna keep it simple and we're going into the desktop right now. So for the rest this is how you normally start your own bloatware Windows 11. We're going to fix this by removing a lot of programs, changing a lot of settings, and this is only with a few clicks. Not much work, and your computer is way faster. For the rest, above you will see that I am in a dev environment. It's because it's a virtual machine, and I don't have to install anything different on my own computer. This means I can play around in this, show you everything in this video, and if I learn something, it would be great if you comment down below. For the rest, let's start by clicking on the disgusting browser Microsoft Edge. I know a lot of people found it very disgusting because in Internet Explorer it was not that great. For the rest, we're just going to start without data, don't share anything, confirm, continue, doesn't really matter, uh, continue without data. I'm just going to click through this, it's not that difficult, there you go. And now it's going to start this. Well, for the rest, I'm going to Google. So above here, we're going to type google.com. After this, we're just going to accept everything. It is Dutch because it's seeing my own network. But first, I can change that for a moment. There you go. Should be a lot better. The first thing we're going to do is a tool made by Chris Titus. It is called the Chris Titus tool. This is a GitHub or his own website where we can go and we can install it. So let's go to Chris Titus Tech, his website. So it's very simple. We only have to run this command. Let's just click on consent. Why not? We only have to run this simple command and it's all we have to do. I'm just going to click away this ad because it's very annoying. And we have this command right here. So when you have searched Chris Titus up, the Chris Titus tool, you will find this page. It's also down in the description. So. Let's copy this by double clicking on it and then right click copy. After this, we're going to open PowerShell, which can be opened with the Windows logo. Then if we type PowerShell, we will find Windows PowerShell. Now we're going to run it as administrator. You'll find this on the right side of the screen. After this, you have a pop-up and you have to click on yes. This is giving permissions for administrative uh, privileges. So. For the rest, we have a sort of hacking tool here, right? Well, it's a sort of like command prompt. If you remember it, it's like a terminal. I don't know how you remember it. If you're from Mac, you know it's a terminal. And if you're from old Windows, it was called command prompt. They still have command prompt. That didn't change. It's just that PowerShell can do so much more. So, let's copy it to this PowerShell by doing Control p after this, we will see it's copy and pasted here from the website to the PowerShell. Let's click on enter. It's going to run a few things. You do need internet. It's not possible to start this without internet. And you wouldn't be able to go to the website if you don't have the internet for it. So do make sure on the device where you're fixing your own Windows 11, making it faster, removing the bloatware that you have Windows enabled. I mean, internet enabled. So this is the tool. We have install, tweaks, config, updates, and microwing. Let's just stay away from everything and let's keep it very simple. Well, there are many options here and in install, you can easily um, install all the programs. Let's say you install a computer fresh from start and you want to install some programs, you can select them here. And after that, you can click above on install, upgrade, or anything. But this video is about performance. So let's go to tweaks. Here we can find many things, like a recommended selection, which is very useful because we want to go for minimal. <laughs> Unless you really hate your Windows and you want to remove like anything. You want to remove your Microsoft Edge, your OneDrive, you want to remove, uh, what do we have more? Uh, disable location tracking, for example. We can enable this by clicking on standard, which will remove so many things. It will clear up your system with the, the, the disk cleanup and there are so many things. We can easily remove Bing search in startup menu on the right side by customized preferences. We can snap the window, we can disable this if we want. I hate sticky keys, let's just disable it. Hidden files is useful. 
but not if you're not going in IT folder, so you can better disable this for beginners. You will have file extensions. This means that, for example, on the left side, I have a ULA file and I will be able to see the PDF on the right side of it because it's a PDF file. Well, for us, if you enable that here, show file extensions, you will always see the file extension PNG, JPEG, you can call it, or EXE with a launching file. But we are just going to disable this because we're doing it on the simple way. On the left side, we have many options that have been selected by clicking on standard and this is all you need. I do advise that if you have a laptop that you want to enable hibernation. So if we disable this, so by deselecting it, it will be enabled. Hibernation is a sort of sleep mode, but it saves where your computer was and you can continue immediately. It's a very useful if you're on your laptop, you close your laptop and you want to continue where you are and sleep sometimes does weird things and I guess hibernation is way better. We also have dark theme for Windows if you want to enable this. I'm just going to keep it simple, just keep it on white mode because it's where most people are. And I'm just clicking on standard right here and then of course uh, keeping it like this, the standard settings. So let's not talk anymore and click on left below run tweaks. You can easily disable anything here, but if, by the way, you can easily add and activate ultimate performance profile. Actually, you want to do this. If you're on a computer, you have to you have to enable this because your computer will be using a little bit more energy, but it will be way faster. On a laptop, it will do the same, but you have a battery. This means that it will consume a lot more battery power. We do not want this, so you can enable this by clicking on it on your computer and remove it on your own laptop because it will consume a lot of battery. So let's click on run tweaks left below. There you go. It will run a few things in the background. Uh, Install process already running. I clicked twice. I didn't think it was starting, but you can see it here in PowerShell. If we open it here, this window, you can easily see that PowerShell is doing some hacky things. Very scary. No, it's not. It's all secure. If you don't trust it, I have a wonderful program that is called Malwarebytes, which is free to scan uh, for the first time and 30 days is free. But after that, you can remove it. If you click on for home here, I'm just going to remove the disk cleanup. There you go. Uh, for home, if you click on here, it will automatically download. You can scan it. It's free, but it's going to cost you money after 30 days. So just remove it from your PC. If you do want the antivirus that keeps on going on forever and it's free, then you have to go to Bed Defender. Bitdefender is a wonderful program. This is Dutch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is all Dutch, so I'm just not going to click on that. Uh, I'm just going to click on this website. If you install Bitdefender, you're going to have a lot more security on your device. It's free. You only have to log in with the email address and a password, and that's it. It's free for Windows and Android, not sadly for iOS and macOS, because yeah, they want to ask money from Apple users. I'm so sorry. So if we type download, um, there you go. Yeah, Bing is a very bad browser. That's why we didn't want to search. But here you have Bitdefender downloads and it says free trial. But what it means is actually that's free for Windows. Um, so we have the free desktop apps right here. And when I go down, I will find Bitdefender and the fire is free. If I click on here, yes, there you go. I will be able to click on download eventually there you go free download for windows it will be all down below and when you are there please like this video i'm really working hard to make these valuable videos like how to improve your windows windows is pretty much full of bloatware nothing is going to run fully smoothly and it's all going to slow down your system so if you click here on free downloads for windows you will find yourself Downloading an antivirus that's actually free. If we uh, scroll down here, it will protect your PC. It's only for one device, sadly, but it's a fine antivirus to have in the background. I'm just going to close this right here because I think it's doing some things. It's uh, scanning the low language resource files. I'm just going to click on cancel here. You don't have to do this. Just let it run in the background. It doesn't really matter. It's going to cancel it here because it will take so much time, especially when it's a virtual machine. We have many more things we can change here. For example, 
right below we have OneDrive, which if you right click on it, you can quit OneDrive by clicking right above. Then we want to quit OneDrive. Finally, it is going to remove a uh, OneDrive if I'm right. Uh, no, it is not. You could have selected this. Uh, for example, also Microsoft Edge, you can't remove Microsoft Edge unless you use these scripts. It's the only way to do it. So if I click here and here, I will be able to remove it on the next run tweaks and then it should be removed. You also have background apps, just let that run. Full screen optimizations, don't change this. You can disable Microsoft Copilot that's on the right side. You won't see this, my camera is here. But you should know it, it's on the screen right now, Microsoft Copilot right below. For the rest, uh, don't really change anything else. It seems fine. Yeah, home and gallery from Explorer. Uh, what they mean is this, the new feature, if you open Windows Explorer, then you have home and gallery. You can remove this if you want. I'm just going to leave it because most people are using this, especially when they have OneDrive. If you do have OneDrive, if you have a Microsoft Office uh, subscription, you don't have to remove OneDrive because you're probably going to be using it and it's very much useful. Um, for us, there's nothing here that would kill your Teams, for example, but if you remove the OneDrive, it will probably do some weird things. So just leave it off. Don't remove OneDrive. You can remove Microsoft Edge if you want, but if you have Microsoft Teams, yeah, you don't have to remove OneDrive. That should be fine. For the rest, this is not everything. I have something that's great. It's called Revy OS. So I'm just going to type it here. Don't. It's Bing. Don't use Bing. Please don't. Go to google.com. Type Revy OS. There you go. And on this website, we're going to download this. Well, Revy OS is going to modify your Windows 11. And it's going to change some settings that this program hasn't done yet. And it's going to be great i'm just going to run it again to remove my onedrive which i don't want and of course microsoft edge but i'm going to kill microsoft edge for now while i'm using it stupid but still um on the right below you will find download revy os after this you will find a complicated screen it's not going to download something immediately we have to do something first well let's click on get me wizard after clicking on this, we will go to the ME Wizard website and we have to download the beta. There you go. Then it's going to give us a folder, which is great. And we're going back on the other website. We're going to click on Revy OS Playbook and then download the playbook. A playbook is going to change your own windows and it's going to modify it with giving it more performance, especially for gamers. Well, I'm just going to have to download it here. Uh, doesn't really want to work. It's down below here at premium features generate free download link. I actually have a great tip. If you type uBlock origin, you should be able to find this for your own browser and it's going to block the annoying pop-ups at this website. So let's click here on get uBlock origin and it's going to remove those stupid pop-ups where we can just focus on the important things. It's gonna take a moment. Should be the same in Chrome, Opera GX, you can call it which browser you're using. I'm just going to click here on the X because I don't want to use that. Thank you very much. And now we have the website. I have to go back. Hold up. And I'm going to refresh the website. Yeah, resubmit form. And there you go. It's way cleaner. When you're on this website, the playbook, you have to go down. Generate free download link. Go to make a download link. It's going to be able to be downloaded in the calculate time so i have my link here the link is generated and now it's going to download i'm right i have to see download now in 24 hours on my own ip so let's click on download now this is the playbook and this is the playbook launcher pretty much so let's open the windows explorer again and install web os it's going to modify your windows just a little bit it's going to increase the performance by a lot so let's click on extract all here in the folder. There you go. And then click on extract here. And we want to show the extract files by bleeder. Because we want to immediately start ME wizard. So let's go and start the application. I double clicking on it. And then it's going to display the playbook launcher. We have to click on yes. Give it administrative privileges. And then we have to select our playbook. 
So we can drag the AB, ABBX file. We can drag the RevOS, they go in here and I'm going to let it go. You can also click on it here and then select it in downloads and then you have the ABBX file here. So now I'm just going to click on RevOS. We have selected this. We have to disable security, allow ME wizard file system access. So let's run this action. It's going to disable. Uh, we have to disable uh, Windows security because it's not allowed to change Windows in this way. But it's fine because it's going to optimize Windows. It's going to make it faster and therefore Windows can't say anything. We're going to disable real-time protection by clicking on yes here because we want to give permission by disabling it. Also the cloud delivered optimization and temporal control. There you go. And now the RevOS can be installed. So all four are disabled. This means that I can close this window and now I can click on next because we've run this action. Now it's going to analyze the installation. It's going to do a few things. You can let it run for now and we will be back when it's done. You will have to update your windows, of course. So let's run that action. Don't have any breaks here. Just have to click on install here or on download here uh, until everything is downloaded and then it's possible. Sometimes it does get bugged and then eventually you can skip this by just clicking on check again. If you just keep repeating this, it will eventually ask you to skip updates because it will take too much time sometimes. So I'm just going to click on again. It's very annoying, but eventually it's going to stop asking for it. There you go. I've had trouble. Make sure you have restarted to apply any pending changes. So blah, blah, blah. We want to bypass the updates, which is great. I only had to click four times, so that's not too much. So after that's done, we can click on next and we don't have to install the annoying long taking Windows updates. So let's click on next. For the rest, we have the wizard UI, blah, blah, blah. This is all end user uh, agreements. This is where you agree to termination, all that. Just read it in your own time. I'm not going to read it because I know it's all about giving permissions that Windows doesn't completely allow this, but it will increase your performance by so much. So let's click on next and then agree to the license agreement. After this, we have to configure some options, which is actually your own preference. I'm just going to install Brave. It's a great browser. And then I'm going to click on next. After this, you can better enable Defender. It's way better. It's a trashy Defender. It's a trashy antivirus Windows. So do make sure you install Bit Defender. Use Malwarebytes if you think you're probably corrupted or something. Do use it, please, and do enable this Defender. It's way better if you install things. So I'm going to enable it here. You can remove Microsoft Edge Copilot if the program has done this yet. You can disable OneDrive if you have, for example, Teams. Uh, Recall AI is a new feature they're going to release. It's the same as Time Machine on Mac OS. This means that you can go back to where files were, where websites were. Uh, all the history of it is saved. Do know that... Microsoft does own your computer at that point where you enable it. So I'm just going to remove it. It's way better for performance. But if you want to go back to your old files, for example, the file gets corrupted. Uh, you want to go back. That means you have to have a recall feature unless you know how to fix a corrupted file. But for us, let's just click on next. Recall AI is a new thing they're releasing. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to remove photos. I love to use photos. Uh, Dev Home is not used by you guys. Uh, unless you're a developer uh, Xbox apps if you game do make sure you don't remove it remove your phone your phone is a feature where you can see your own notifications all that I'm just gonna disable only death home and that's it uh, so here we have the revision wallpaper this is the wallpaper they're giving you dark mode I'm gonna disable that I'm going to keep it on light mode keep it more vibrant for now uh, let's click on next for the rest, we have remove pins in start menu. This means this menu right here. These are pinned tabs. Normally you have way much more and sometimes even ads put down and you don't want this anymore. So fix this for previous Revy setup, which hasn't happened, but we can easily uh, enable this. Automatic maintenance is going to clean a few things on your computer. This is already enabled to Windows 11 and you can just leave that on. It's way better cleans your temporary files and everything like that. 
so I'm not gonna remove it, not gonna disable it. Custom Explorer fold up view is just how you want to view your own Explorer. I'm just gonna keep it here, but I can click on custom, why not? It's great. So let's click on OK and click on next. It's going to extract the playbook. The system will be automatically restarted once the process completes. I'm just going to keep this on. This is a virtual machine. If I'm recording, it's not going to stop. So that's great. But next, I'm talking a lot and I hope you're learning something. So this timestamp is RevOS, which is also going to improve your performance. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm working hard. So you guys have better performance on your own devices and everything like that. I have so much more tips to give you right now. Well, do you know when we talked about battery? For example, the ultimate performance buffer, which can be found if you type energy or power plan, we can find it right here. This is the old control uh, field. I'm just going to move this away. This doesn't want to move. I'm just going to keep this like this. I'm just going to click on power options. And after this, you will find multiple um, gaps. Yeah energy plans or battery plans once you have enabled ultimate performance it's going to be for higher end pcs or they mean like computers which are going to drain more power but it's going to be way faster you want to enable this if you're on a computer and you want to enable balance recommended if you're on a laptop just click here on change settings that are currently unavailable and once you have done this it will give you a pop-up you click yes or no if it doesn't you can continue like me and click on balance which is way better for your own laptop battery performance and the endurance of your own battery. This means that your battery can continue going on longer if you don't force it too much, if you don't heat it up too much, because ultimate performance is going to heat it up by gaining more power, those things. So it's not that great. For the rest, ultimate performance, you can enable this if you're on a computer, disable it if you're on a laptop, just because you don't want to destroy your laptop within the first year of school or I don't know, work. So we have the playbook right here and I actually have to wait now until it's done. I've given you so many tips. You can easily disable apps here. Uh, you can easily click on the start menu here, add or remove programs. Uh, for the rest, this is very annoying that's <laughs> on top of everything. But install programs, you can find this right here. Once you click on uh, right above on size large to small, you will easily find with all your drives, for example, what the biggest file is. So now it's the software development kit. Don't remove this. CQL server, you're not going to use this. You can easily remove this. Uh, subsystem, you can easily remove this. Just click on install. Just here. There you go. It's going to prepare to remove. And then once you've removed it, it gives you a lot more storage. But for us, I have a dev environment. That's why I have so many dev options. But if you don't, doesn't matter. These are all programs that are pretty much trash. You can just easily move them. It's not used in any way. I will be back once this playbook is completed. I will see you later. So when it is done, so the playbook is done installing, it will restart your own computer and then you should be able to see this. It depends on which settings you've changed, but this is what I'm seeing right now. Well, I have the Brave installed, like I said, and we have many other tools. For example, we have the Rift revision tool which we can use to modify some things from Ruby OS which is actually just Windows 11 but with a slight upgrade so I have it here in white mode the security just keep it on don't disable the protections because like I said it's not that great to do that so we have user account control we can disable this if you don't want to click yes or no every single time you want to start an application you can disable this by doing this and you have to research for it to make the changes effect I think this is great because you don't have to click that all the time and it will save some time. We also have usability, which includes the legacy notification balloons, which is right below. You can see it's right here and these are the balloons and uh, it's a little bit different. So if I deselect it here, I will reload my Explorer and now I should be able to see the notification. Wow, well, it's still the same, but the notification I receive it is different. So that's the legacy. I'm just going to disable that. I like the modern look. If you don't, you can click on legacy right here. We also have screen edge swipe, disable caps lock key, everything you like to change, just do it. Performance for the rest, just keep on super fetch, which is great. Uh, memory compression, 
uh, might have small impact on CPU users depending on hardware. Don't enable it. Uh, for the rest, Intel STS-TSX, you can leave this on. Um, for the rest, it's fine. Full screen optimizations, optimize for games, background apps. That's all things uh, that could be left on. So it wouldn't really improve it that much. Otherwise, this would improve something. Optimizations for Windows games, which can be useful if you have Direct 10 and 11, which is great because it's on the latest um, yeah, graphics drivers for the rest. Uh, Windows updates, you can pause the updates right here. I'm just going to disable that because we do want to install updates. Driver install through Windows update. Yes, sir. Miscellaneous, we have Hibernate. I want to keep that on. Like I said, on the laptop, it's useful to keep this on. So for the rest, use this reporting. Don't do this, it can slow down your computer. Uh, for the rest, we have settings right here, the color team, you can change it. Uh, show experimental tweaks, which is available here at performance. We can see the uh, sleeping state might improve uh, performance, but potentially reducing battery life. Let's not enable that on the laptop. Uh, for the rest, this is all just fine. I think also there was something, yeah, it was in security root certificates. You don't have to look at that one. Uh, so settings, uh, it's only English. And if you have to update your efficient tool, which I don't have to do, which is great. The MS store, uh, which is experimental, but yeah, it's not really working. <laughs> That's why it's experimental. If you just search it for the Microsoft Store, it's available on your own PC. Just works. Uh, you just you can just install anything you want. That's very easy. But for the rest, uh, these are links that are not working anymore. So let's remove that. I do have Edge right now, which should be removed actually. It is removed. But sometimes you have to remove these shortcuts on the desktop and here in the taskbar. So for example, I have this program. I'm just gonna remove it from the taskbar. Uh, it is still installed, but like I said, you can go to add or remove programs and remove those high uh, um, storage usage uh, applications. For example, Ubuntu on Windows. Let's uninstall that like this. It's a very simple and then eventually have some more storage. But for the rest, performance wise, you are done. You can exit out this video. You can subscribe to the channel, like this video if you haven't yet. Please comment down below what you think of Revy OS. It is going to optimize you on Windows, give you more performance, more FPS in games. It will help you install a browser, for example, Brave, which is one of the best browsers. I will be making more videos on that, by the way. I will be making more videos on the best browser, the best calendar, the best Outlook alternative. Which is actually funny because you can use, for example, Blue Mail as an alternative to have all your mails in one app. So this is including Apple Mail, Google Mail, Microsoft Mail. You can call it all in one app. And I'm going to explain that in the continuing videos. This is going to be a whole series. I'm going to show you how to improve your own Windows 11 and make sure uh, that everything is working right. If there are any problems, if there are crash reports, anything, just send it to them. Otherwise, just send us a message down below you can also message me on Milan Telt on Discord. By the way, if you didn't know it yet, you can just contact me for free. I would love to respond to you and we try to help you with the tech problems. Everything is improving. The quality is still a little bit low in this video. I'm recording on my own P20 phone and not on my S10 Plus. Trying to change everything up, getting it optimized for you guys. And if you like it, Please let me know that. I know his quality is a little bit low, but it will increase for more videos. So I thank you so much for watching. I know this video was about 30 minutes long, but I think you'll learn a lot. There are a lot of timestamps in this video, Revy OS, and how to optimize it with the Chris Titus tool. And I think you'll learn something. I'll see you in the next one, probably in the video about the best browser, which could be multiple things.